This is what y'all wanted, baby. I'm from a place up in space where your lips do. Jal said he wanted to see you. You have new email at your terminal, Pathfinder. You have AVP Outstanding Pathfinder.
Hey-ya! What's shaking? I've been having zero-G daydreams. Me too. Want to find a discreet place and make the dream a reality? Absolutely. <laughs> Back to business, Pathfinder. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. What can I do for you, Pathfinder? You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. You more than anyone know how dangerous Axul is. Why were they allowed to speak with him? 
They aren't children anymore. We can't control their every move. You remember how you were. Please, Jal. <sighs> I'll bring them home. Are you okay? Three of my brothers and sisters have joined the Roka. Luxul has poisoned them with his hatred of aliens. And your mothers want you to bring them back. The Roka have made camp at the forge. Many consider it the birthplace of our civilization. Aksul likely believes this bold move will create more fanatics for his cause. Ryder, he has my family. But I don't think I can do this alone. You don't have to. Just tell me the time and place. Hmm. No hesitation. You are a good friend. I have a contact who's been monitoring the Roka. I'll set up a rendezvous with her. Prepping VidCon communications. Ryder, tell me about the satellite you found. Director? What are you talking about? My alert identified a CK resource tracker. They're emergency tech, full of overrides so they can bypass protocol. They were designed by Dr. Zoe Jean Kennedy. She disappeared with the Exiles. If her tech has shown up, that could give someone a backdoor to steal from your outposts. Pretty extreme to set up a personal alert. Why do that? A lot of Dr. Kennedy's projects were unofficial. But you backed them. Like these trackers. I don't want some asshole using my access codes to cut a backdoor into our resources. Or Tan blaming me for it. But I also want to know what happened to her. What was Dr. Kennedy's role in the initiative? She designed the orbital beacons, forward stations, and half the kit in the Tempest. She'd ram an upgrade through before the requisition was on Tan's desk. Dr. Kennedy disappeared along with the Exiles. That was a big loss. Why were these trackers allowed to bypass protocols? They're supposed to be hubs. To rapidly track and pull resources if lives are at stake somewhere. That's why they weren't deployed. Tan didn't like anyone bypassing his rubber stamp. If this satellite is new, how has it kept up with our security measures? That's a very good question. She disappeared with the Exiles, but you aren't calling her one? She sympathized, but we'd never let an expert like that go. She was vital. But in the chaos, a lot of things, and people, went missing. If we have to find the tech or the person, where do we begin? You got a sliver of data from the first tracker. With more scans, maybe Suvi can assemble a point of origin. Obviously, these trackers are being deployed where initiative tech is concentrated. That means outposts. Try another outpost system, or place more. Maybe you'll draw them out, whoever they are. And when we find them? They're stealing our resources. My concern is Dr. Kennedy, her tech, their lives. In that order. Ryder, I was just about to call you. Everything all right? I've got numbers, coordinates, flashing in my head. I, I think it's an SOS from Mason. It could be coming from your SAM implant. He's sending me his location. We did find evidence that Natanis may be intact. What evidence? A bunch of stasis pods were jettisoned from the Ark. No survivors. But the logs show it happened long after Natanis hit the Scourge. There's someone still flying the damn thing. Or keeping it afloat, at least. Here are the coordinates for my implant. Meet me there. We'll find answers.
Pathfinder. Bradley says Prodromos is back on track. That road car threat made me angry as hell, but it also kind of made me feel like a local. I've arranged a thing on EOS for everyone. It's time I gave back, not just go from crisis to crisis. Sam has the nav points, dress light. Yes? How do you think the crew is holding up? I'm happy to share what I can without violating patient confidentiality. Anyone in particular? I sort them in their files and my brain by species. Is Drac good? He seemed conflicted since Elodin. Drac likes to think of himself as a fossil. Something from the past to look at and learn from. But you've shown him he has a lot left to live for. Thanks, Ryder. How's our Solarian? He's quite the gossip. Tight-lipped about himself, though. Tell me about Vetra. Vetra's used to having someone depend on her. I think that's why she's so resourceful and likes providing for other people. That being said, I think she could use a little me time. Is Jal doing okay? He's adjusting. The rest of us have at least some understanding of each other's cultures. But to Jal, we're all outsiders. It's a lot to take in. I'd say he's doing pretty well. Is PB all right? Still can't get two words out of her. But she seems less tense after that stunt with the escape pod. I blame you. Thanks for the insight. How do you think the crew is holding up? I'm happy to share what I... Anyone in particular? I sort them in their files and my brain by species. How do you think the human crew members are handling things? There's a lot of them. How's Liam? All smiles. Varan's safe and you two got to play hero. At least he recognizes that he messed up. That's progress. Suvi okay? Suvi's strong sense of faith keeps her grounded. I'm not spiritual, but there's a beauty in how her mind rationalizes religion and science. Gil? Gil likes to use humor as a defensive technique. He'd rather bury himself in the Nomad than tackle emotions head on. How's Cora doing? The thing with Sarissa hit her hard. But she'll be better for it in the long run. Thanks for the insight. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Pirates, exiles, severed heads, Kadara ports a peach, huh? And Reyes treats it all like a game. Anything you needed? Any more commando war stories? That's all I can share, anyway. I miss them. See you later, Cora. Stay safe. Hey, Ryder. What's the story? Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. Just talk to Kesh. Looks like some of the clan are back at the Nexus. Hired on as mercs instead of part of the initiative, but still. Good call you made. 
letting her keep the drive core. New dawn for the Krogan, huh? Never thought I'd see the day. Sovereign Krogan as equal allies. My mother would have approved. Got any stories or advice to share? Does a Pijack scratch its butt? Tell me more about fighting Cat. Shoot stuff and don't die. Always works for me. We can talk more later. Sure. Raider. I should get back to things. Sounds good. I hear you found a stasis locker from the Solarian Ark. Technically, someone else found it first. But yes. How wonderful! I know it's not the Ark itself, but any sign is better than nothing, surely. Please, if I can help the search at all, just ask. Or ask anyway. You're good company. Tell me something else about the ship. O'Connell, our systems designer, was running a power distribution model. How power moves through the ship. But he forgot to lock his terminal and we, um, <laughs> added a few embellishments. For two days, poor O'Connell was convinced that turning on all the bathroom lights would overload the engine core. What do you think of the rest of the crew? No, oh, <laughs> if I gossip any more, I'll get in trouble. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. Thank <laughs> you.